don't, I don't think anybody who was involved in passing the Affordable Care Act was thinking we're going to do it, you know, universal health insurance, but only for liberal states. Right. Right. Um, and um, so I, uh, that's that's a pretty good uh, summation of, of what I've seen as far as the argument on the left goes for how yeah. big. Um, it's it's sort of a, a typo type of deal, misdrafting, yeah. you could call it. Um, and this is sort of a cynical ploy by, by conservatives to try and uh, undermine the law that they don't like generally and they want to get rid of. But, I, I mean, for me, uh, I look at the, the law and <clears throat> besides, the, you know, the obvious argument is that this is what the law says. It, it says it. It's very it's, it's pretty explicit that it's only available in a state's, quote, established by or exchanges established by a state. Um, and for me, but beyond that, I look at the structure of this law and the idea of it, which was basically that, um, more or less to, for budgetary reasons, they wanted the states to take the lead on creating and administrating these exchanges, right? Um, so the federal government didn't have to pay for it all. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, whenever the federal government wants state governments to do something, uh, <clears throat> it more or less uh, uses a sort of a carrot stick approach of if you do this, you'll get money or your people who live in your state will get money. If you don't do it, you won't. And that's exactly the system I see when I look at uh, Hal Big's understanding of Obamacare. I mean, uh, to me, if, if these... If this incentive wasn't in there, or disincentive, however you want to phrase it, why would state exchanges exist at all? Why would any state set up an exchange, and why would um, that was what they wanted, right? That was the idea. They were they were basically shocked that the vast majority of states didn't choose to set up exchanges. Uh, they were plan the plan was that all states would do it because if they didn't, their citizens would be very upset about not getting the subsidies. Um, or, or uh, same thing goes for Medicaid expansion. So, I, like, I look at it, and it's not just the le the sort of statutory argument, but there's also this practical, this is how the federal government legislates. This is how it gets states to do things that it wants them to do. So. Well, that's, that, so that's true that the federal government often uh, uses money to incentivize states to behave in certain ways. And that's certainly what they did with the Medicaid expansion. The difference between the Medicaid expansion and the state federal subsidy issue is that there's a whole bunch of convert, like legislative conversations about the Medicaid expansion that makes it clear that that's what they were intending. 